Hello, my name is Jennifer Matranga. I'm the project manager for Oscar Renda Contracting. I'd like to give an update on the progress of the infrastructure project north of the tracks. We will complete the storm drain work on Porter Avenue this week and are finishing the storm drain structure shortly thereafter. Our road crew will begin installing road base within the next week or two. We have completed the base course of asphalt paving on Querens and will begin installing sidewalks next week. On Benaki, we have been held off on performing the remainder of the work near the railroad tracks due to the CSX flagman not being able to be on site. We are unable to perform any work without CSX on site when we are in their right of way. They will return in a couple of weeks and we can resume construction. We have also been stopped from working in Esther's Boulevard from Lee Street to Main Street with the installation of storm drain because that work is in the CSX right of way as well. This is the final utility to be installed on that street. We have begun working on Main Street. The sewer north of Division is complete. We will begin installing the sewer on Main Street south of Division at the beginning of next week and add a second crew to work simultaneously installing the storm drain right behind them. We are taking care of some punch list items on the east side of the project to prepare for installation of surface course of asphalt. We are preparing to install the surface course of asphalt, which is the final course of asphalt, on Oak Street, 6th Street, all of Crawford, Strangi, North of Division, Sam Street, and Penny Street. We are continuing to work on sidewalks and driveways on all paved streets north and south of Division to the east of Kaivet, then following with landscaping. We would like to remind residents and visitors that our speed limit throughout the construction site is 15 miles per hour. This is for the safety of our workers and for your safety. We would also like to remind residents that the orange rock bags that are located in front of the drainage structures are to protect our local waterways and a requirement of the contract and should not be moved. The bags filter sediment from the water before it travels through the drainage system, preventing silt and debris from going into the drainage pipes. We are appreciative of your continued patience and support. We are working as quickly and as safely as possible, and we remain committed to building a better Biloxi. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jack Rabick. I'm the Assistant Project Manager for Hemphill Construction on the Biloxi South contract, and I'm here to give you an update on the progress of our work. I'm here on Seal Avenue, where we have completed the sidewalks, curb, gutter, and base asphalt. We are looking to complete the curb, gutter, and base asphalt also on Porter, Youngin, Lestrade, and Bolton on February 6th. The next streets that we will begin road restoration on will be Gill Avenue, Roselle Street, Irish Hill from Porter Avenue to Roselle Street, Howard Avenue, and Father Ryan Avenue. We currently have a crew installing the sewer on Irish Hill Drive west of Roselle Street. We have a crew putting in the rest of the storm drain on phase two of our project. We also have a crew that will move to Howard Avenue and be working between Benaki North and Benaki South starting next Monday. We also currently have sidewalk crews that are working on Father Ron to restore the sidewalks on that street. And finally, we have our last crew working on Father Ron installing the sewer. After that, they will move to St. Jude, St. Paul, and Hubbard to begin the sewer and work on completing the installation of the rest of the utilities on those streets. Thank you for your cooperation and please keep our employees' safety in mind while driving around our construction zones.